So we're going to talk today about a topic with which I haven't covered with you before, and that's fort suit forcing. So the first thing we have to do, we have to explain is what do I mean by fort suit forcing? So Andrea, if you wouldn't mind opening one club, pass, I'll bid a diamond, pass, and my partner rebids one spade. How many suits have been bid? Three. Three suits have been bid. So if I now make a bid, it is oh. the fourth suit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that is that is every time we're talking about we're talking about three suits have been bid naturally. And if the person bids the fourth suit, it is forcing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now it's forcing to gain. It means if I bid two hearts, we must reach some sort of game. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, so what is the concept of it? The concept of fourth suit forcing introduced by the Akol system is common in all standard systems. It's used whether you play weak no trump, strong no trump, five card majors or four card majors. It is a valuable adjunct to the natural bidding methods because it enables one to explore the contract in slower and more detail. So, what would you bid on this hand if you weren't playing fourth suit forcing? Um, you re rebid. Sorry, hold on. Um, By the way, there's no answer you can give me that's correct. You could Every rebid your diamonds or go to no trump. But rebidding your diamonds shows weakness. You can't go to no trump because you don't have cover in. Oh, that's a disaster, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Respond clubs. At what level? <laughs> Three. But that's not forcing. Yeah. You see what I mean? And if you want to bid four clubs, where have you gone past? Over. Three no the, trump, yeah. haven't we? Uh, yeah. yeah. So you don't know what to bid on this hand, do you? No. You're stuck. Yeah. There's no way you can make, you can guess, by the way, you can guess what to do and hope you're right, but you're, you're stuck. So, but we can now solve the problem by using the mechanism of fourth suit forcing. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So when I bid two hearts, first of all, I alert it and I explain it. OK, that announces to everybody at the table that what, what where must me and my partner reach? Game. 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 Does that make sense? Yeah. OK, so what do you think? Why am I bidding the fourth suit? I'm bidding the fourth suit because I'm not sure what to do. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I mean, if I had a heart stopper, I could quite simply bid no Trump myself, couldn't I? Yeah. yeah. If I knew what to bid, I could quite simply bid it myself. But if I don't know what to bid or I want to explore more than gain, then I can use the fourth suit because that's creating a situation where we are forcing. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So what do you think my partner should do over the fourth suit forcing? What do you think their options are? Spades, if they have no. six. Well, three no they have a three no dress trump. hearts. It has they got a heart stopper. If they have something good in hearts, what could they bid? Three no trump. trump. Or three two no trump. trump. Or two or no two trump, trump, couldn't yeah. they? <laughs> if they didn't have anything in hearts, what could they do? Go back to the club. Well, oh, it yeah. depends on if they have another spade, have, what could they yeah. bid? Re 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 spades. Spades. They could rebid spades, couldn't yeah. they? Yeah. If they had a fit for diamonds, what could they bid? Them bid diamonds. And if they, have, if they don't have a heart stop and they don't have a fifth spade and they don't have a, a fit for diamonds, what do they go back to? Club. Clubs. Clubs. The clubs. And at least now, when they go back to three clubs, go ahead. Three clubs, Andrea. Now I know we don't have a... No, 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 no. I know we don't have a stopper in hearts. So there is no point in playing in what contract? 
So whatever we whatever we decide to play in, we know there is no no uh, <coughs> uh, hope of playing in Trino Trump. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. On this hand, I'd probably bid five. Yeah, because there's no point in being in Trino yeah. Trump. Okay? Yeah. And Thomas. Yeah. The what the heart stopper is it one or two? One stopper. Just as long as you can stop them from running the suit. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't have to be the ace. It could be the king and a small one. It yeah. could even be the queen, the jack and a small one. It just means that they cannot take the first five tricks against Trino Trump. You will stop them from running that suit. Does that make sense? Mm. Yes. Yep. Now, obviously, you prefer to have something like ace, queen or king, jack or better cards, but you don't have to have a stopper uh, like aces and kings. You don't have to have two stoppers. One stopper is good enough, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so oh. In this in this hand that you've used as an example, yeah. you started with lovely minor suits going up so slowly. What happens if it starts with one? Oh, what? what, 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 what and it escalates. No, no, hold well, what do you think we're going to do now? Maybe do that. Open maybe, a maybe give you a slightly different example, yeah? So oh, I'm yes. going to give you lots of examples to show you all of the ways with which you can approach fourth suit forcing. We were just uh, asked a question, and it was that that was a nice low-level bidding, and it was very easy with which to bid the fourth suit forcing. But sometimes the fourth suit forcing is at a higher level. It doesn't matter, though. If you have enough points for game, you can make this bid, and you're assessing that you're telling your partner that you have the values for game. Okay, let's go, Andrea. So one club. What do we respond with this? One heart. One heart. One heart. Lovely pass. And our partner bids. Spade. One, one, one spade. spade pass. Well, now, what do we bid with this hand? Two diamonds. Okay. Why? Because it's fourth suit. It's the well, suit that hasn't been called. Yes, absolutely. But why are we bidding the fourth suit forcing on this hand? To see I if mean, we can go into no trump. Well, we have a stopper in no trump, don't we? Yeah. We, why uh, do we need? Why no. do we? Need, yes, we do. Okay. If they lead a diamond, we, they will not be able to take five diamond tricks. Will three they? no trump. Three no trump. Okay. Three no trump is also an option, isn't it? Yeah. But the problem mm -hmm. with three no trump is we don't know about anything else about our partner's hand, do we? No, they could have a great score. Well, they could have a good hand. They could have a strong hand. One spade doesn't deny strength. That's number one. They could have a fifth spade, couldn't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if they have five spades, how many spades have we? Eight. Three. three, that's a fifth. Three, that's fifth, yeah. They could also have three hearts, couldn't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we have a fit in... Hearts. 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 So it's really, it's really interesting, isn't it? I mean... We don't know where the right contract is, do we? No. Nope. We know we have to get to game, don't we? Yeah. 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 So what are we going to bid? You were right, by the way. Two diamonds. diamonds. Yeah. And again, notice that even though I did it the last time, every time I do it, I cannot help myself from alerting. Alert. I just can't do it because I'm trained to, to be ethically inclined to, to do what I have to do. Now it's hard Thomas, to do, yeah. Sorry, just when you're back to face to face, face bridge, it'll your be partner your partner would has alert, to alert. Your, your partner yeah, would alert okay. your bid. Absolutely correct. Yeah. Okay. Now, so over two diamonds, we're going to go through each of the possible responses that partner might make, and we're going to see whether you can come up with what is the what does that mean? Okay. So, uh, bid two hearts, please, Andrea. What does that mean, everybody? A four card support. No, they can't have four card support. They yeah. didn't support you. No. Yeah. Okay. It would be two or three cards. No, it three. would be three card three. support. Three card support. Right. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Undo, please, Andrea. And bid two spades. <laughs> what do they have there? Five spades. So we could support them, couldn't we? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, undo Andrea and bid to no Trump. Do they have? Do they have uh, five spades? No. 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 Do they have three hearts? No. no. Do they have cover in diamonds? Maybe not. They, they do have cover in diamonds. They don't bid no Trump if they don't have cover in diamonds. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And bid three undo and bid three clubs, please. Thomas, how many points were they promising there with two no Trump? Mm, 15. No, 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 no. They, they didn't promise any more than 12 points. Two diamonds says we have enough points to go to. Game. Game. So it doesn't matter whether they're 12 or not, does it? No. We know we're going to game. So what does three clubs <laughs> tell us? Well, it tells us they don't have three hearts. They don't have five spades. They don't have a... Cover in diamonds. And they have to bid their clubs. Does that make sense? They've, not, yeah. they've nothing else left to bid. So yeah. if, if, if opener ever goes back to their primary suit, they're just saying, I've nothing else to tell you. Two diamonds said, tell me more. Three clubs said, I don't have three hearts because they didn't bid two hearts. I don't have five spades because they didn't bid two spades. I don't have a diamond stop because they didn't bid. No, Trump. So three clubs is all those other hands. Does that yeah. make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. But now you know an awful lot about the hand, don't you? Okay, who would have five clubs there, Thomas? Sorry? Thomas, they would have five clubs. They, they had five. They five clubs if they repeat. They had, no, no, no. They had five clubs when they bid one spade. Yeah. Yeah. They already had five clubs. It's very rare that we yeah. open a club and rebid one spade with only four, four. Okay. Yeah. It's very rare that we do that. It can happen, but it's very rare. So you can presume they have five clubs all the time almost. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so again, I'm not giving you the answer to these questions. I'm just giving you a scenario where fourth suit forcing arises and I'm giving you the what ifs and what ours. And when we finish the recording of the Zoom presentation, then we're going to go back and bid and play these hands again. So let's go on to the, the third hand. What the, the fuck is so can, can we hold it. on, please? Can we hold on? Sorry, is the final game three no Trump? Sorry. So I don't want to answer the question as to where we should be on the last hand because we're going to be using these hands in the demonstration of the play when we go on to BBO. So on the third board, let's have a look at what happens. Now again, we have an unbalanced hand. We've got 5-4, so we're going to open with our long suit. Partner's going to respond. Can everybody mute themselves, please? And we're going to rebid one spade. Now, at this point, you should be prepared for your partner bidding fourth suit forcing. And again, it's at a high level, isn't it? Two hearts. So go ahead. Can everybody uh, mute themselves, please? So over two hearts, what do we do? Well, our options are, have we got support for diamonds? No. Have we got a stopper in hearts? No. no. Have we got a fifth spade? No. So where do we go back to? Clubs. We've no choice. Now over three clubs, our partner bids three spades. We know that our partner doesn't have a stopper in hearts because they didn't Sorry, bid no yeah. trump, did they? Yeah. What suit did they bid? They bid hearts. They bid the fourth suit, didn't they? Mm, so yeah. they don't have cover in, in hearts. So is there any point in playing in three no trump? No. So mm. where should we play on this hand? Four spades. spades. Yeah. Even though we know we don't have an eight card fifth, does that make sense? Yep. Because there is no point in playing in what contract? 
No Trump. No, I mean, Trump. if you play in three, no Trump. What are the opponents going to lead? Hearts. hearts. Followed by a heart. Followed by a heart. Followed by a heart. Followed by a heart. Well, that's not going to be very clever when they take the first five or six tricks off you in Trino Trump, is it? No. So using the fourth suit forcing, remember what I said. Let's go back for a second, Andrea, to the two heart bid. The two heart bid said, partner, we have enough points between us to go to game. But I don't know where to go. I'm not sure of what the best game is. And I'm worried about hearts. Because if you were if North wasn't worried about hearts, what would they simply bid? Game. Street no Trump, like I mean, if they wanted to, wouldn't they? Mm. If if they were worried about if they weren't worried about hearts and I bid three clubs, what could they bid now if they had something good in hearts? Trump. I mean, they could bid no three Trump. no Trump, couldn't they? So yeah. if they don't bid no Trump, what must they always be worried about? Uh, the hearts. So there's no point in us playing in three no Trump if they bugger all in hearts and we bugger all in hearts, yeah? Mm. Does that make sense to everybody? Mm. Yes. So fourth suit forcing is a mechanism with which anybody in the partnership can, can use the situation, okay? Can use the situation <coughs> to express doubt now just for one second andrea we're going to undo please and i'm going to change your response ah okay undo again yeah lovely now bid one heart please Now, what's the fourth suit? Diamond. So again, if he bids it, he's still saying the exact same thing. He's saying that. I don't know whether to go to Trino Trump or not. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm worried about... Diamonds. Tell me more about your hand. Now, have I got a fit for hearts? Three card hearts? No. No, no. no so I can't bid hearts. Have I got a fifth spade? Yes. Yeah. Have I? No. No. I see no. King clubs. Jack 10, 6. Have I got five spades? No. no. Thank you. Have I got a stopper in diamonds? No. no. So where do I go back to? Clubs. clubs. And over three clubs pass, let's say my partner bids <clears throat> three hearts. What do they have now? The stopper and hearts. Well, no, they don't. We've got nothing to do with a stopper. Why are we talking about stoppers? Oh, sorry. Five, sorry, five, they have five hearts. hearts. Six hearts. Five they hearts. They probably have six hearts six. because remember, six. you don't have three, do you? No. no. You told them you didn't have three hearts, do you? That's it. Mm -hmm. So they probably now have six hearts. So, and there must be forcing two. Game Four because hearts. two diamonds. Yeah. Well, doesn't we don't know what game we're getting to? Two diamonds okay. said we have to reach game. 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 Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now again, I'm not giving you the answer because this isn't what the hand is. I'm just giving you the concept of somebody bidding four suit forcing and us going through the I the responses based upon the cards you have. Now let's go on to the fourth board. Okay, the fourth board is to explain the one scenario. There's always an exception to the rule, isn't there? Isn't that the, the curse of bridge is remembering the exception? So this is the one exception to using fourth suit forcing. Okay, let's say my partner opens the bidding with one club. I'm going to respond with one diamond. My partner is going to rebid with one heart. Pass. Now, if I bid one spade, that is not fourth suit forcing. Okay. That quite simply says I have diamonds and spades. spades. Now, undo Andrea to me. If I want to use fourth suit forcing in this situation, I bid. Two spades. 
I jump a level. Because if I have enough to go to game, there's no harm in me jumping, is there? Mm. There's Oops. no harm in me jumping the bidding, is there? Mm. So that's fourth suit forcing, but that's the only situation. In all other situations, let's go back to your bid as an opener, please, Andrea, and open the bidding with one heart for me. Your east hand is weaker than it is in any of the others examples. But, that, but you're not bidding fourth suit forcing on that example. Because you're, you're bidding not... one because you don't have enough to go to gain. You're bidding one yeah. spade. I was yeah. showing you that the fourth suit forcing bid was a jump to two spades. So let's say the bidding goes one heart, two diamonds from me, and my partner bids three clubs. What's three spades? Fourth suit forcing. And I'm saying, well, I mean, that's what I have, isn't it? I'm saying, partner, I, I, have you got cover in spades. spades? And a partner has cover in spades, what will they bid? Three no trump. And then over three no trump, I know that. No, 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 go back, please. Over three no trump, I know that they have five hearts and four clubs. So what do I bid? Four, four hearts. hearts. And now they know I have a strong hand. They know I don't have anything good in spades. They know I've got a fit for hearts. They know I have a long suit of diamonds. And they... What? You must have 16 plus points because you jumped. Is that right? No, West has 15 plus points. You're, okay. you're, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. Okay. You're breaking Thomas, up. I'm not getting that at all. West opened one heart, didn't they? Yeah. What did they bid at their second opportunity? Three clubs. Three that clubs. shows strength. Mm. That shows strength, doesn't it? Yeah, <clears throat> five and four. Absolutely, five hearts and four clubs yeah. and 15 plus points because mm. I bid at the two level. That's why I can bid fourth suit forcing to game with only... Ten points. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the question earlier on was, when do you use fourth suit forcing can be used whenever three suits have been bid? Naturally. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. At all levels, at all levels. Now, the final part of fourth suit forcing that I want to show you is as follows. So the final hand is to give a demonstration of when you can use fourth suit forcing to investigate more than game. So in other words, you know you have enough for game, you know where you can get to, but you want to investigate more than game because potentially there is slam or maybe even grand slam on. So let's have a look at this hand, please. So partner opens the bidding with one diamond. Now, again, we could support our partner's diamonds, but what level do we support them at? And even though we have a fit in diamonds, we should nearly always be a... Spade. Spade. A major, absolutely correct. Now, over that major, our partner bids two hearts. Well, that's a reverse, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And I've done reverses with this group before. So what does a reverse tell us? Five and four. What else? It tells us you have strength. What strength? You've got um, you're, you're 16 plus points. Very I good. Think. Very good. So if my partner has 16 plus points and five diamonds and four hearts, hmm. well, I have a big, big hand, don't I? Yeah. Okay, now, what could I do? Bid three clubs. Yes. Fourth suit forcing to game. Setting the scene, Yeah. yeah. Want to say again, what am I typing in? I mean, I just do it every time. I can't help myself. It's a curse. <laughs> Three clubs. Now, at this point, okay, I, I know I have a club stop, don't I? Mm -hmm. yeah, but I'm I, doing, yeah. But I'm doing this because I want to say to my partner that I have a very strong hand. Now, did my partner bid no trump? No. no. So they don't have anything good in? Spades. No. Clubs. In clubs. 
You don't okay. need them to have it. <laughs> well, no, but I know I, I yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know I have it. So now what I do is I bid four diamonds. And that has to be a slam try because what did I bid before I bid four diamonds? Two big clubs. Four suits. Four sourcing. Does that make sense? Mm. Yeah. Okay. And now I can find out about the aces and the kings that I need, or I can continue to queue bid and my partner can find out about what they need. Does that make sense? Yeah. So Andrea is going to bid four no trump. I'm going to show I have three aces. If you're playing ordinary Blackwood, he's going to ask me, have I got a king? I'm going to show him that I have one king and he's going to know that that's enough to go to. Slam. Um, no. He wouldn't be if he was only interested in slam. What would he have bid over five spades? Um, six, 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 six diamonds. That's the suit we agreed, isn't it? Yeah. But if he, when he bid five, no trump. What was he interested in? Uh, grand slam. Yeah, grand grand slam. slam, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So now I leave him at that. Yeah. Sorry, Thomas. What was the four heart and four spade before? They were cubids. They were cubids. I forgot about those. First round control in hearts, first round control in spades. So look at okay. this hand. Just look at this hand for a second. Even though this is a hand on fourth suit forcing to gain, right? It's used to describe the different types of hand you can use fourth suit forcing. One and the most common is when you're not sure of where you're going. And you don't have cover in the fourth suit. But you can use the hand when you have a super strong hand and you want to show this by, by bidding the fourth suit and then setting the suit. So on this hand, we also have covered a reverse, which I've covered with you. We've also covered Q bidding, which I've covered with you. And if we wanted to, I could give you the answer to four no trump if it was Roman key card Blackwood. It wouldn't be five spades in that case. It would be something different. It would be five clubs showing none or three if you're playing Roman key card Blackwood. Okay. So fourth suit forcing can be used to describe two types of hand. One is I'm not sure where we're going and I need more information from you. The second one is I've got a very powerful hand. I'm going to make this bid because that sets a scene, doesn't it? The fourth suit forcing is saying, partner, we have enough to go to gain. And when I bid four diamonds, now I'm saying we're, we're interested in investigating. Um, because if I wasn't interested in slam, what would I bid over three diamonds? Five. five. Or if I had a stopper in hearts, I could bid no, myself. No, exactly. Or stopper in clubs, apologies. I could bid no trump myself. Bidding the fourth suit doesn't deny something in clubs if you're a very strong hand because bidding the fourth suit is how you get more information from your partner. Okay? Yeah.